Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy B from Street Billboard, bringing you another episode of Concrete Legends. And today, we're going back to the NO, y'all. Uptime. You know what I'm saying? Taking you to the 13th Ward. Valence and Matt know you. The same man that brought y'all bling bling. Told y'all he need a hot girl. And taught y'all that retaliation is a must. That boy, B.G. Born Christopher Dorsey on September 3rd, 1980. B.G. being short for Baby Gangster. The Dorsey family lived in a shotgun-style house on the corner of Valence and Magnolia Street. When B.G. was only 12 years old, his father was shot and beat to death over a monetary dispute. B.G.'s mother claims that around this time, he took a turn towards the streets. B.G. caught his first charge at 16 when he was arrested for a pistol. But hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's take it back. To 1993. Lil Doogie, what they call him. Lil Doogie met Cash Money Records pioneer Birdman through their mutual barber. BG was only 12. Birdman and Brother Slim took Lil Doogie in, literally. He moved in, and not too long after, he signed to Cash Money Records. At just 15 years old, BG dropped out of high school and began using heroin. Though fighting a monkey on his back, as well as maintaining life in the bloody streets of Uptown, BG was still able to focus on his music. Dropping classics on Cash Money Records from 1996 to 2000. And even before that, dropping an album with young Lil Wayne, known at the time as Lil D. The two collaborated on an album called True Story by the BGs. Paper was rolling in. But not how it was supposed to be, according to Doogie. In 2001, BG had a very, very controversial fallout with Birdman and the rest of the company. Releasing Life After Cash Money in 2004, Heart of the Streets in 2005, and also founding his own imprint group, the Chopper City Boys, in 2007. Holding it down for the gumbo capital of the world. On November 3rd, 2009, police pulled the rapper over and allegedly found three weapons in the vehicle. Two of them reported stolen. Part of a much, much bigger case going on at the time. BG remained solid and quiet. And on July 18th, 2012, the rapper was sentenced to 14 years for gun possession and witness tampering. BG is said to be released sometime this year or early next year. And when he comes home, we know he's going to hit the streets hard. There's not too many rappers that can teach you how to move in these streets. But he, man, he's one of them. And for this reason, BG will forever be a concrete legend.